Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, March 28th, and as you can see from the title, this will be an autism haul, which I am so excited for. Um, as you may know, this Saturday, April 2nd, is World Autism Awareness Day. Now in 2007, the United Nations declared April 2nd to be World Autism Awareness Day, but the whole month of April is Autism Awareness Month. So if you know somebody, whether it's a family, a friend, a neighbor, a fellow student, a fellow worker, whoever that has been touched by autism this whole month of April, you can um, show your support and honor them. And even if you don't know somebody directly, maybe you know a celebrity, like there's Holly Robbins and Pete, who has an autistic son. Um, Tony Braxton has an autistic son. There's many, many celebrities and famous people. If you love them and you just want to show them your support, or if you just want to show your support, which we really appreciate, you have the whole month of April to do that. But if you want to get very specific, April 2nd is World World Autism Awareness Day, which all over the world, you will see many, many walks, many people doing fundraising, um, all the famous building and monuments light up in blue, the White House has lit up in blue, um, the Empire State Building, just all kinds of fam famous monuments and buildings have lit up around the world. And like I said, around the world, so many people do walks and fundraising or just different events to support autism awareness and to honor autistic children and their families. So um, when I found out in 2009 that the United Nations had declared April 2nd to be World Autism Awareness Day, I immediately got up told my family about this and said, we got to do something. So in 2009, I created and founded the first March, which I called it a March, <laughs> here in our town. And it started off with just me, my husband, my children, and one friend. We had homemade, humble posters, but we had just found out we didn't have enough time to organize and plan at the moment that I had found out, but I wanted to do something immediately and we did it. I'll see if I can find the pictures and insert it here at some point. Um, but yeah, and ever since then, we've been marching. Every year, um, people had heard of my story and my family. People have come from different states to meet me and hear my story. We have been featured in the New York Museum. We have been featured on internet TV and many newspaper publications. So the story has reached not only our family and friends and neighbors, but it has reached people in this country and around the world. And that is my labor of love. That was the whole point of doing it. It was to honor my son and other, other autistic children and their families and to bring the awareness, like I said, to family, friends, neighbors, the community and the world about autism awareness. Now, when I started, it was one in every 150 children were diagnosed with autism, with most of them being boys which was like, I, th I think 110 at that time. It happens more in boys than it does in girls. Now, there's still questions on autism to this very day. It, they say that they started to d diagnose and discover autism in the 40s. At that time, they used to put your family member in like a mental institution because they thought they were crazy. In the 70s is when they realized, hey, they're not crazy. They're actually geniuses, but don't have the social skills or can't explain why they know what they know and what's happening. So they said, and what better to be with their own families who will love and take care of them. So they stopped that craziness of the mental institution and slowly but surely doctors and scientists have done extensive, extreme research on what causes autism. We don't have an answer. There's no known cause or cure for autism. Um, we have gotten more information. Um, some scientist says it could be something that runs in the family, like some families are susceptible to heart attack, some families are susceptible to cancer, some families are susceptible to mental illness, so forth and so on. They think that that's primarily it. Some of the research has shown it could be in things that contain mercury. Some people have even thought of it being in the vaccinations. That to me cannot be true. And if you believe that, that's fine. That's your belief. You have to do your own homework, your own research. You have to listen to the data and the science and just go by your own situation and see what your heart tells you. My son is 26, so I have 26 years of it. He was diagnosed at the age of four and a half. But um, so I have 22 years per se on this journey and I immediately 
educated myself in autism. I researched and did my homework on the data and the science. Um, I read many books, watched many interviews, thousands of videos. I self-educated myself in autism so that I can better um, be there for my son and help him in every way possible on this journey that was gonna be pretty much for a lifetime. Um, now my son, he's high functioning. He's a, you can see the genius part in him, but you can definitely see the autism very much so in so many ways. Um, but he's adorable. He's my best friend, my heart, my soul, my everything. I love him to pieces. I cannot see my life without him. So, um, I just pour all my love as well as my family does. And I want, I started this March because I wanted people to have the resources available um, that I didn't have immediately at first. I wanted them to have the most information they could. I wanted them to know that somebody care and could relate because I have been on this journey and kind of longer than most, than, than the people that I connected with because my son was getting older. In 2009, my son was born in 1995. So he was 14 um, when I started the march. So, um, yeah, so 2005, four, 2009, 14. So I had a long journey already. So the people that were just having their children getting diagnosed, I had a lot of resources and information that I could share with them, things that I created on my own to better help uh, my son. And I had two other daughters that didn't have autism. I didn't want them to feel left out because I was so um, one focus on my son. I wanted to give him all of the love and attention and the help that he needed for sure, but I didn't want them to feel left out. So I created a chart system that included them, made them feel just as loved, just as, um, they got my attention and my heart and everything as well, my help, but we also were there to be able to help my son. It's, the chart has, I haven't used the chart in a long time, but a lot of people wanted to adapt my chart. They love the whole creation of it. Um, but I'm going to do the chart again, but it's only going to be for my son because my daughters are older and now married, so they don't need to be on the chart. But he misses that chart and he wants that chart back. So one of these days, I'm going to do a video on what that chart looks like, what it's all about. And I'm telling you, if you have a child that's autistic, whether they're a child or an adult, this chart helps so, so much. Um, so I will share that with you as soon as I can. Um, so yeah, so we started off with me, my husband, my children, one friend. And as each year went by, more people found out about my story and my family and they started coming to meet me, like I said, from other states and being featured on the new newspaper publication, the Internet TV, New York Museum. Um, jobs that I worked at um, supported me by like one of my jobs was Home Depot. They turned the register lights to blue um, to support autism. Now, autism has four colors. It's red, yellow, a dark blue and a medium or baby blue. Now, the main theme color of autism is blue for two reasons. For one, it's a common color to autistic um, children and adults. Two, it happens more in boys than it does in girls. So that's why they chose the main theme color as blue. Now there might be other reasons today, but that's how it started off. Now the symbol of autism is the puzzle piece. Why? Because there's no known cause or no known cure. Now there's been a lot of data and research and scientific extensive research on it. And there's been ideas like some families are susceptible to cancer. Some families are susceptible to heart attacks. Some families are susceptible to diabetes. Well, they feel like some families are just susceptible to mental illness. Um, another um, um, idea was it could be found in mercury, things that contain mercury. Um, a lot of people think it's the vaccinations. I happen not to believe that until there's concrete proof and evidence. I don't believe it. And why? Because I live it. I have my other girls who had the same doctor, the same exact vaccinations given the same exact way and time frame. My daughters are not autistic. My son is. So if it was a vaccination, all of my children would pretty much have autism. So, and because I follow the data and the science, the scientists have assured us that from many, many years of research and extensive 
extensive scientific research, there is no concrete proof that proves that vaccinations cause autism. And one of the vaccinations that are suspect is the MMR shot, which is believed to contain mercury. So, but you know, if you believe that vac vaccinations cause autism and that's what your heart tells you and your conscience tell you, then you do you. This is my belief, my feeling, and from my extensive research and homework and looking at the data and the science. But, um, so you do continually do your debt, look at the data and science, continually doing your research and you do what's best for you and your family. Um, so yes, there's no known cause or cures. So that's why they chose, um, the puzzle piece because it's the missing piece. Why does it happen? How does it happen? There was one interview with Larry King live or one, uh, I don't know if she was a doctor or scientist that said, um, well, autism, it can't be the vaccinations because autism happens during the last month or two of pregnancy or during labor. Um, and that you don't even have vaccinations yet. So um, that was also one of the reasons. And like I said, my girls don't have autism. It's just my son. So, but I will always continue to look at the data and the science. And if one day they do a more scientific research and there's concrete proof that it is, then, you know, we will see what we can do about it. Because I believe in vaccinations. They have kept a lot of people safe and alive. As we know in the pandemic, we are all vaccinated and boosted up. None of us till this very moment have been touched by COVID. Um, plus wearing the mask we have never stopped wearing the mask. I don't care if the mandates are lifted. I don't care if they say you don't need it. I'm going to wear it until the science tells me that this is certifiably and undeniably over. And I might wear it for a while, just in case the data and the science changes. But we vowed from the beginning, being vaccinated and boosted, that we were going to continue staying vigilant, not taking anything for granted. We we're going to continue wearing masks and social distancing as much as we could. And so far, we have been kept safe and protected from COVID. And I hope and pray that it continues to be that way. We've gotten sick maybe twice in this whole pandemic thing. And we thought, oh, could it be COVID? We have been tested several times during the whole sick period. We have quarantined just in case. And no, it ended up being an upper respiratory virus. And one time it was the flu. So, but we also vaccinate for flu. I just did shingles and I just did my tetanus because I'm 56. So I got to do one more dose of the shingles. Tet tetanus is once every 10 years. So um, I try to be wholeheartedly into my preventative care. Um, colonoscopies, pap smears, mammograms, all that good stuff. I am so into that because I need to stay as alive as long as I can for my family, but especially for that boy that needs me, who I love dearly. So anyway, um, so yeah, so that's why the symbol of the puzzle piece was um, chosen. And then the colors were chosen for the diversity. It Autism doesn't discriminate against age or culture or race or anything. It can happen to anybody. Right now, I believe, don't quote me on this because with the pandemic and everything, I haven't really looked at this part of autism. The last time I looked, it was one in every 48. Now, remember, when I started the march, it was one in every 150. No, it was one in every 188 children being diagnosed with autism. Then the next year, too, was one in every 150. And then it went down to every 100 and one in every 110. And then it went down to one in every 88. And then it went down to one in every 68 child's diagnosed with autism. And I think the last I checked was one in every 48. Again, what mostly being happening in boys than in girls. But I'm going to check the statistics again just to get my little update because um, I'm constantly checking and I'll put that down in the description bar. But so that's why I started it. And at the Autism March, it's a way for us to reunite as autism families. Um, I provide everything from the kindness of my heart. It, it's, like I said, it's my labor of love. Everything is out of my pocket. The last two years before the pandemic, my family and friends have convinced me to allow people to do donations because people really wanted to help. And I had done it for years out of my pocket. It got to the point where I was putting out like almost $5,000 every year out of my own pocket. And I didn't mind because this was my labor of love. I wanted to help other autistic children and their families. So the two years before the pandemic came, I allowed people to donate. And with that donation, it would put back into next year's March. And then at, 
I can't remember what year exactly I started doing the children's gift baskets. So I do gift baskets for the children. In the gift baskets, there's 10 items each. And with $10, I can make a whole gift basket for a child. And I would make blue ones um, for the boys and pink for the girls. And then there was a year that I started making caregivers gift basket. So it would be like a movie night gift basket. So it would have popcorn and it would have soda, movie um, theater candy, and it would have three movies, oldies with goodies. So I would do one or two of those. And then I would do board game um, gift baskets where it had like three board games. And again, the candy, the popcorn, all that stuff. I had a coffee lovers gift basket, everything to make coffee, a coffee cup, different coffee brands, um, filters, you name it. Then I had a couple's gift basket where it had one and it had um, things for a couple to have a date night. Then I had a makeup gift basket. And I would do one or two of each of these. And then I had like a bubble bath, um, just um, self um, care baskets. And then I just started, I had a car, one for to do everything for your car, to clean your car, make your car smell good. And then I had, um, what was another one? Um... I can't remember offhand, but I'll try to include pictures somewhere in this video of those baskets and stuff. So again, for the last three years, we haven't been able to march. So I try to do things on my Autism Faces page. That's what it's called, Autism Faces. Um, and I would do things via Zoom. So I would do contests. So one year I was giving out autism clipper entire set with the cape the clips that went on the shears and everything it's like fifty dollars a piece so they only had to like do three two or three simple simple things on the comment section so two mothers won that and then one year i gave out 10 gift baskets so people won that and some caregiver baskets last year i tried to do something in front of my house as the pandemic started cases started to lowering we got new shirts like we do every year and this is what we do every year for autism we um dress from head to toe blue whatever's in our hair is related to autism or the color blue our makeup our jewelry our shirts and my youngest daughter is my artistic director so she chooses our outfits what our pants are going to be what our shoes are going to be what our shirts are going to be what our makeup is going to be jewelry everything she gets it all together first and she does the posters because she's very artistically talented my other daughter does all the flyers and she does all of the social media and she's my administrator on my page um invites you name it my husband is the set director so he sets up we station in a central plaza park that we have here he sets up everything the tables the table coverings the gift baskets the balloons the food you name it um and my son of course he just there he has um a lot of problems with his feet so he can't march with us so he waits there and he thanks everybody for doing this for him and stuff like that and of course I'm the creator and founder of that march and so um I'll try if you want to go back on my YouTube every year I show our march and what we've done for YouTube so you can go back and check that out um and I'm sorry I already spilled 18 minutes but I wanted to kind of give you the story in the background of how we started this march why we started this march and some basic information about autism so, uh, it's, it broke my heart when COVID was first announced because we were, we had already made all of the children's baskets and a couple of years, I made like a total of a hundred between children's and caregivers. And I would honor two mothers that year, two caregivers that year. Um, I made up to a hundred. And I did that like for two or three years. And then I kind of did 80 one year and 50 one year. It's a lot of work. We put a lot of time, money, and work into this labor of love. It means everything to me. And I said, even if I have to crawl, I'm going to do it. And of course, when I'm gone, like I said, my family will take on my legacy. And everybody in the family has something to do. And so... This year, because of the cases are lower, we still be wearing masks. We're still our social distancing as much. So when I did it in front of my house, um, just a few people came, but that's okay. We wanted, to, you know, everyone know we were trying to do something. We didn't want to let the years go by because of pandemics without doing nothing. But I had to stop the march because when it was first announced on the news, it says you can only have 250. I couldn't guarantee that because every year the march has gotten bigger and bigger and more special and more special and just it was a lot more money a lot more work more everything so i provide everything i provide the food which we normally get 
tons of boxes of pizza. We have a blue punch to honor the blue color. We have an ice chest with water bottles. So when people are done with the march, they could take a breath and get some water. And then of course, if they, we would have desserts, whether it's cookies or a cake or pretzels with blue coloring on it. So we offered the pizza, the desserts, the drinks, and then we also had activities for the kids, and we had a photo booth where we let the families have a, a take a picture of each family so we can upload it and they could have it for their memories. And then, of course, we started doing gift baskets for the last quite few years, and so um, it was a lot. And so um, each year I try to do something different and something special, but that stays the same. And we did have people the last two years before the pandemic that wanted to donate. So they would donate like $20 and say, make me two children's gift basket. And then I would put their name on it and I would let the person know this was donated by so-and-so. And I would have them do a video or picture thanking that person. I offered receipts. Everybody's like, you're the most honest person. We trust you. You do a video and a picture. We think that's enough. So, um, yeah, so, and then if they gave like $50, they would say do four children's and, um, or three children's and one caregiver's because the caregiver's had 20 items, so it was $20. And we try to get everything for Dollar Tree. Now, the Dollar Tree has a lot of good quality brands, a lot of good stuff. So that's where I start first. And whatever I don't find there, then I try Big Lots or Grocery Outlet or Amazon or Ross or stuff like that go down my list. But I try to put really good stuff in these baskets. So we decided we're not ready to do the march this year, especially because my daughter just got married and we had to put a lot of time and attention and money and stuff into that. She just got married February 26th. We didn't have time to mix the march in there because it, like I said, it takes a lot of time, work, and money to put it together. So, um, and we're still in a pandemic. We're still trying to navigate this pandemic. And it's hard because a lot of people don't want to be vaccinated. A lot of people don't want to wear masks. And I didn't want to take away the love and the funness of it, having to police people. So I'm thinking by next year, if God's willing and everything's okay, we will resume the march and I will rejoice because I cannot wait. The people are missing it really bad. They're like, when are we going to get back to it? So if God's willing and everything's okay and we'll, we're still wear masks, we're going to resume the march and it's going to be a rejoiceful day for all of us involved. And But this year, we still, like I said, wanted to do something. So we're going to do an autism picnic. So we're going to pick a park. We have several parks here. We're going to do a picnic and we're going to have some just finger foods and we're going to set up a big table and it's going to have... The, we're not doing exactly gift baskets where we have a bucket, beautiful, colorful buckets, whether it's blue or pink and the cellophane and the bow. We're not doing that this year, but we're going to do backpack gift baskets per se. So we bought pink and blue backpacks. They're like the string backpacks. I used to have autism ones, but Oriental Training doesn't sell them anymore. So I don't know where to get them and I don't have any more. So we have two bins where we keep all the stuff that's left over. And as we buy stuff, we add to that bin for the next year. So um, I didn't have any more. And so I thought, okay, Oriental Training doesn't have them. Let's just get like a set of blue, a set of pink, and then I even got some gift boxes to do like mini prizes. And so what we do is we used to give them away, but then we decided because it was getting more expensive to do, everything will always be free except the gift basket. So the way we do that is you purchase a dollar a ticket. Um, and then at that time you could purchase as many as you want, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do a max of five because a lot of the same people kept winning, winning over and the people that didn't have really as much money didn't get really a good chance to win. So just to keep it fair, it's a dollar ticket with the max of five and that money, like I said, will go into making the next year's gift baskets or putting money towards that next year's March. Um, so I'm thinking because of the pandemic, I just might not charge for tickets for the drawing for the gift, the backpacks gift baskets. Um, but you can buy a ticket, but for, I have a grand prize drawing. That one, it was very expensive. It's um, all about Kobe Bryant because when we did this, Kobe Bryant had just passed away. And so we got a Lakers um, gym bag, a Lakers basketball. We have a shirt with Kobe Bryant. We have a shirt for his daughter, Gigi. We have the hat. Um, Everything all about Kobe Bryant and the Lakers, and it's a lot of stuff. So um, 
that's going to be our grand prize. We never were able to give it away because when the news announced that we couldn't guarantee 250 and then they went down to 50. And I'm like, I definitely can't guarantee. I couldn't guarantee the six feet distance. I couldn't guarantee that people would wear masks. So with my heart broken, I had to announce that the march will be canceled into further notice. And here we are three years later. I'm already at 25 minutes. I'm so sorry because this was supposed to be a haul. So it, and it's just a few things. So hopefully... Um, I won't go over the 30 minutes, but if I do, please forgive me. I'm going to try to not to make them as long. Even the autism videos are going to have to be long um, because it's a lot to it. So, yeah, so we decided to do that. Plus, we're going to have an entire bin of complimentary prizes, of thank you for coming prizes. So, yeah, we're going to do a picnic. My family's going to be at a table with finger foods and drinks. We're going to have the ice chest available with water bottles and drinks. And then we're going to have the blue punch. And then we're going to have a whole big separate table set up with the backpack gift um, bags um, or baskets per se. And then we're going to have the grand prize sitting up there. And then um, cook, we're going to offer instead of pizza, cookies and refreshment, like blue cookies and refreshments. So, but as I really plan the details out and you know, finalize it, I will let you know exactly what we came up with. But that's my ideas. I still have to yet announce it on my autism faces. But so that's some information for you about um, autism and why uh, April's Autism Awareness Month and why April 2nd is World Autism Awareness Day. Some research information, some background on, um, you know, what the puzzle piece means and the colors and all that good stuff. I had to start with that. I'm sorry I went 26 minutes into it. So hopefully I can show you the rest of the stuff. Four minutes because as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I like them. No more than 30 and no less than 15. So let's try to get into it. One, and if it's a little longer, just please forgive me. So one of the things that I ordered was, now, excuse my lighting. I'm in the worst part of the house. It's in the living room. It has like a yellow lighting. I've been meaning to get white bright light. My LED light that I'm using is starting to fade out and it's nighttime. So if it's not really bright and clear, I am sorry, bear with me. So the first thing I ordered, I ordered two of these, but the other one is coming, I believe, tomorrow, and it's autism band. I already have an autism watch exclusively. It was for autism, and I think the donations went towards autism research, and I ordered it. Um, I forgot the site, but I'll put a picture here somewhere of that watch. It's entirely a silicone band. The whole area around the watch is for autism and it has all the four colors of autism and the puzzle pieces. But I wanted to order two new ones. Of course, I can use a plain silicone band, which I have um, this one right here. So it has the puzzle pieces. This green is not exactly an autism color, but I noticed it, they do include it in a lot of autism puzzle pieces, but it does have the symbol and it is an autism band. So I got this for my Apple Watch. It's the four, 44 millimeter. I already tried it on. I'll put a picture of that as well in one of these corners somewhere of me putting it on and how it looks. Um, so yeah, that is the band. Don't quote me on the price. I don't know. I will put all the information in the description box bar or the description box or, or I'll put a photo of the order. So that's the first thing I got. And that's from Amazon, by the way, if I didn't mention it, let me put it closer so you can see. So beautiful. So then I got these scrunchies for us because like I said, sometimes we worn baseball caps, sometimes we worn a headband, sometimes we do our hair in blue color, which I'm thinking of doing that as well. But I ordered these autism scrunchies because we all like to wear ponytails in the house. It stretches really, really good. It says autism awareness. Let me see if I can show you that. Do I get upside down? Let's see. Uh, so you can kind of see the autism right here, autism. And then this says awareness. It goes all the way around. Like I said, it stretches really good. It has all the colors of autism. Like you see the dark blue, the light blue, the red, and the yellow. So it has, it has exact four colors of autism it comes in a set of eight so there's eight in here so it's only four of us that are going to wear it but i always have extras because i we have a friend that's like family to us um, she has a disabled son and she's always there for the march so if she wants to wear one there's one available if one breaks we have extras so um, that is also from amazon the next thing i got was this flag because i like to put 
in front of the house some type of banner. We have a banner for our table when we do the march and it says autism march. Um, but um, we're not doing the march so that banner is not fitting. So I wanted to do something for inside for the front of our house as well because like I said, the whole month of April is autism awareness. So I got, this is like a flag. It didn't come with a stick so I think I have to do my own stick. It's not like a flag but you hang it but it was supposed to have a stick to hang it with so and you put it through here so you can see there you put it through here and it says autism and it has again the four colors of autism except green is not one of the colors but I noticed that they have started the last few years including green so I got to find out if that's a color that they added um, or it's just a color that they add when they do puzzle pieces so I thought that was really beautiful so I'm gonna hang that in the front yard somewhere or if I could get a stick to stick it in like a flag, we'll see how I use that. That's also from um, Amazon. Then I just got this banner. I'm already at 30 minutes. You now this banner is huge, so I might have to show you a picture of exactly how it looks like extended because I don't think I'm gonna be able to extend it. We'll see. It looks big in the picture. It, in the picture is, a, someone's house with the white picket fence and it covers almost the whole fence so let's see do i have it the right way oh it's this way so it extends like this so it's this size from top to bottom this wide and it continues on so you can kind of get an idea like i said i'm going to put a picture of exactly what it looks like. Um, but then it says the words, it has the ribbon with the puzzle pieces, which is all the four colors of autism and it's a known famous ribbon for autism. It has the word love, the word, what's that word? Um, love needs, so it's saying it's a message. So it's love needs no words and then it has the heart with the puzzle pieces so i'll take a picture of it extend it so you can see exactly how it looks like and of course i'll do a video on how it looked like in front of our house the next thing i got are the backpacks that we're going to put the prizes in so i'm going to try to put 10 prizes in each gift bag and what I normally do, if Easter falls after autism, which this year, again, it does, the last year that we marched, it was gonna be after, in 2020, it was gonna be after the march. So I got a lot of things geared up for Easter, like bunny puzzles or bunny Tic Tacs or um, Easter eggs, all kinds of stuff that was mostly geared for Easter, but I had stuff, regular stuff too. But I was able to find a lot of Easter stuff because Easter was going to be like a week or so afterwards, so it was perfect. This year, again, it falls after the March because it's April 2nd and Easter is April 17th. So I'm hoping to find a lot of goodies for Easter so that they can include it in their Easter basket or just give it to their children for Easter. Or they don't have to make a gift basket because this will be their Easter basket if they want to wait and give it to them then. Um, but yeah, so here are the pink ones because I don't want to forget our girls. It does also happen in girls. Um, so this set comes with, I believe, 20. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say. I think it's 20 in each set. So there's a backpack. And I'll take one out to show you what it looks like. So it's a simple backpack. It's really light and airy. So it does have a lot of space. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. Here's the drawstring. And then you have it on you like that. So I'll try to take a picture with me. Try to put just some stuff in it to fill it up and show you how it would look. So those are the pink ones. And of course, got the blue ones. So we chose... Um, we only saw baby blue. They had different colors. Like I could have got a set that came with the different rainbow colors, but we decided to do blue and pink ones and not green and other colors. So I believe this is 20 as well. Yep, 20 pieces, teal, blue, drawstring, backpack bags. Thank you for your purchase. Um, so yeah, so these are the blue ones. It looks just like that one. 
but just in case, I will show you one of these. So we're going to do everywhere, every year I tried to do gift baskets or what have you with the meaningful thing. In 2020, we were gonna do 24 gift baskets for children for the age of my son. He was 24 in 2020. Then we were doing um, 12 caregivers basket, which is a movie night basket, game board night, couples night, all that stuff. 12 because it was the 12th year that we were marching. And then we had some special angel ones that um, were honoring some children that sadly were taken away. Um, like Gabriel Fernandez, Noah Quattro, Anthony Avalos, Fatima, um, Cece, Bella, and Nico Watts that were... Um, I don't want to say the word like killed. They were in an abuse. They were abused. They were eventually killed. And I wanted to honor them. And I called them our special angels. We had six of those. So I always try to do gift baskets, the amount according to something that has meaning. So this year I decided to do 14 backpacks, seven girls and seven boys, because this would be our 14th year that we would be marching. I'm also going to do two angels. Um, Unless I can find their lunch pails, they're going to have some special prizes in it. I only have two left because I gave them away during the contest through via Zoom. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do any caregiver's basket. I would like to at least do one for a woman, one for a man, and one for a couple. If I could pull three off, that would be great. But I'll see what I can do because it's this Saturday. We're Monday. So we only have five days to pull this together. And think, this is one of our first orders. I have a lot of things coming tomorrow. And so because we invested a lot of money and time into my daughter's wedding and we're trying to, you know, take a deep breath and recover, everything's done. The whole family dynamic has changed, but we'll always be a knit, close, bonded, special family. But we transformed two of the rooms. One of the rooms that used to be my daughter is now my son's. We painted it, bought all new furniture. We changed, we did the guest room, a new guest room, and little things here and there in the room, which I started revamping my whole house in 2019. I bought all new furniture, decorated all brand new, every single room in the house. But with the pandemic, I had to update some changes, revamp the new stuff, and so we are all done. So there'll be videos about that. So we had to kind of recover from that, and then we got Easter right after, so. But we still wanted to make it very special and have the mounts very meaningful, but I'm gonna take you on this whole journey, so that's the blue ones. Then we bought, this is gonna be like a 40 minute video, these gift um, boxes. So I'll show you, like I said, I'll fill some stuff up in here, and wear it on my back and take a picture so you can see what it looks like as a backpack on someone's back. Those are for the children, seven girls, seven boys. Then I also wanted to get these gift basket boxes. We used to have um, Oriental Trading would sell autism ones. So they had the puzzle pieces and all the four colors of autism. They don't sell that anymore either. So I'm bummed out. I wish I would have got extras like I do with everything so that if something happened or the years went by, I could still offer that. So I should have got huge amounts, bulk amounts, and had it ready to go for if something like this, that they don't do sell it anymore, or if something happened like the pandemic, I could have been ready, but I just, who was going to know? So, but I found some blue gift boxes, which will not have as much as the backpacks, but they still will be very special and very nice. Um, so these boxes, you have to put them together which my, fa my family, I'm not one to build things or put together. I have many talents. That is not one. But my husband and my daughters are really good. I can't get this tape off. Is this crazy? Oh, my God. Hold on. Okay, so I found me some scissors. I was able to open it up. I left the majority in this pack. I took one out and built it up to see if I could do it by myself, and I could. It was super, super easy. This one contains, I believe, 24 boxes, which is more than enough. Um, but whatever's left over, I can use it towards next year. And if I can find those autism boxes, um, that I used to do with the puzzle pieces and the different colors of autism. I would definitely order a bulk of those. I love that they were just so perfect. But these are perfect as well because this is the main theme color of autism. As you can see, I built it. You just built the bottom first. You just put the flaps in, the sides, then tuck this in here. And then you put these two together, kind of bend it, and then put this flap in this one. See how it just did that flap? So I think I'm doing this part right. 
Um, but it kind of turns out to be, it should be that way. Now, I don't know exactly how to get the flap right. It was holding good just a minute ago, but it has to be even. So I don't know if I'll have to tape it and then they can open it later, but it should be even without the white showing and the box looks like that. That's how it looks sideways. That's the opposite side, the other side and the top. So as you can see, a lot can fit in here. Of course, not the same stuff or as much stuff that will go in the backpacks. In the backpacks, I plan to put some new headphones that I have. I had two left over from when we're gonna do the march. They're like a blue camel color, really pretty. It's called Safe Sounds. I'll try to um, add a picture of that as well in one of these corners. It's for children, you know, autistic children have a hard time with loud noises, vacuum cleaners, trains, fire departments, um, or ambulances, stuff like that. So these are made to protect their ears from a loud, sudden sound. And so I have two left of those. Plus I bought a new package, like a five pack of headphones for like um, teenagers or adult autistic um, people. Um, or children, I still call them our children, our angels. So um, I have four of those. Um, I gave one to my son because he really needed a pair of headphones. Um, and then I just bought him another one that um, was his favorite color, so he's good. Um, so I had four left and they came in five different colors, black, so I, my son wanted the black one. So I have green, yellow, blue, and red left. They're brand new in the package. So I'm gonna include those in some of the um, backpacks. So I'm gonna try to find some more headphones. I really would have, because autistic children and adults, they love music. And so that I feel like it's a perfect gift to invest in them, or if they're using a tablet. A lot of autistic children and adults use tablet um, to communicate or to learn, and so they can privately hear without any outside noises interrupting. So headphones to me is one of the favorite things that I like to put. So headphones is going in each of the backpack if I can find more. Um, and of course, other prices. I'm gonna put 10 things in each backpack. And here, I'm probably gonna put five special things. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with for these gift um, boxes. Like I said, it comes in 24 of them. I don't know, I know I'm not gonna do all 24, but we'll see. If we can pull it off, that'd be great. But at least I'll do 14 of them, again, to represent the 14th year of our March. Um, we'll see how that comes up with. We'll see. I still have to gather with my family and do the finalized details of the ideas and what we're exactly going to do. But I wanted to show you that. That is it for now. There's some more stuff coming tomorrow. Another watch band, I believe. Um, we ordered our shirts today. We were thinking of, hey, we don't have enough time. The shirts are going to come in time. We have our shirts from the previous years. They still look really great. This is one of them. And let me see if I can... Let me bring the camera down. So this is one that we wore one year, not last year, but look how good, look how the blue still looks colorful and fresh. The colors are still vibrant. And it, this year we chose mom of a warrior. So then like my, my daughters would say um, sister of a warrior. And then um, my sons would say, I'm an autistic warrior. So it was all about the warrior. And it was the same shirt, except it would show who we were. Like my, mine's is mama of a warrior. My husband would say dad of a warrior. And so we did that one year we did, um, and it still looks good, doesn't it? And I have some matching leggings to go with it. And this is my shoe. I've had this shoe for a while, but it is so comfortable and it just happened to match. I was just gonna be around the house today just trying to put the autism stuff together and just chill. So when I'm at home, I wear soft leggings. I wear like a t-shirt and I wear like my slides, whether it's this kind or others. And so I just found these. I couldn't find them and they were in a box under my bed and so, um, yeah, but we try to wear tennis shoes because we normally do a march, a walk. And so this year we're not, we're gonna be at a park already stationed, but we're still gonna, we still try to wear our tennis shoes because it is in a park. Um, we'll see what, what tennis shoes, what pants we come up. We just ordered the shirts. One year we did dinosaurs. So mine was like Mamasaurus and my husband's a Dadasaurus and um, Sistersaurus. One year we did SpongeBob. So, and one year we did, um, galaxy the star wars galaxy um we had different ones or we we were blue for autism awareness we did those um we i had a shirt that says um i have his voice and he has my heart stuff like that so every year it's been a different themed shirt um 
and I'll try to add pictures as much as I can of those uh, memories. Um, so all throughout this video, you're going to see a lot of pictures. So I hope you enjoy them. Or you can also go back to through my channel. Every year I do autism awareness videos. So you can see all the looks and the march and how we marched and what the march was all about and everything that we did and everything that we offered. Um, this year, there's no donations. We are still navigating a pandemic. A lot of people are still going through it. A lot of people have lost loved ones. So I don't want to request anything from anybody. I don't want to bother anybody. We did this for years, for years on our own. Like I said, the only time we did donations was the two years before the pandemic started, the last two years. Um, so I think I'm going to go back. If somebody offers, friends offer that they hey, are you doing the march this year? Can I donate? Then I'll take it, but I'm not going to request. I'm going to go back to my old-fashioned way of me providing everything like I've always done. Um, and yeah, so I want to be mindful of that. Um, and just I just like just me and my family doing it. You know, I appreciate people wanting to, but as far as me asking, I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, there was something else I was going to say, even though this video has gone on long. I think it's going to be a 45-minute video. Um, what was the other thing? So I'm going to post it on my Autism Faces page. I'm going to let them know that if God willing and everything's okay, we will resume the march. Me and my family will still be wearing a mask next year and probably the years to come. Um, I would recommend that they would wear a mask, but I'm not going to police anybody. We just have to, you know, keep ourselves, our family, and others safe. And it has to be on us to do that. Um, so I'm really excited about next year, but I want to let them know that we are planning something this year. Something's going to happen. We're going to do a picnic autism awareness, and we would love them to stop by. If anything, to say hello to us, let us catch up on how they're doing, how they've navigated through this pandemic. If they need any help, any resources, any information, we'll have that available as always. And, you know, to take a picture of their family, even if they're, you know, too afraid to get too close to us, which we'll have a mask. We're going to have a little sanitation station as well. We're going to have wipes, antibacterial wipes. We're going to have um, sanitizer spray and gel bottles. We're going to have gloves there if they want to wear gloves. We're going to offer masks if they want to wear masks, disposable masks, of course. We'll be wearing cloth masks, um, but we're going to offer that for people that just want to be safe and they don't have it. We will offer it to them. Um, so yeah, so we're going to let them know. Please stop by, say hello to us. Let us know how you're doing. And if you want to stay for a while with us, we welcome you. If you want to enter the drawing, you can see the prizes that will be on the table. All that good stuff. So I can't wait to announce it and tell everybody on my page. So, um, but I had to pull the bins out of the shed and it was way hidden back. I wanted to know what I had left from the previous two or three years. But like I said, I've been giving out stuff even though we haven't been able to march. So I didn't know if we had too much left. We had a, a, a basic amount of stuff, but I definitely still have to go and buy stuff to put in these um, backpacks. So I'm definitely gonna have to re re refresh my items and so everything is new and fresh and whatever is good from what we have in the bins which we had some good stuff i'm going to include those and then next year everything's going to be starting from zero all brand new we do have like the ticket things that we'll still have we have plates cups we'll have um the supplies and stuff ready to go because we have a bulk of all of that but as far as prizes and items we'll have another seven girls another seven boys for next year it'll be our 15th year next year so we'll probably do 15. so um we'll probably add like one special unique backpack to make that 15th um or if i can find those autism backpacks i'll use those the boxes, if I can find those, whatever I can find next year to make it a little different, a little bit more special, I'll do that. But I'll take you on that whole journey every year that I do this. Look forward to many autism videos um, starting this week and the whole month of April. And of course, in between, I have all of my daughter's wedding videos. I have wedding hauls, her bridal sh um, party, um, her rehearsal dinner, her bachelorette, her wedding day. I still got to up edit and upload all of those wedding halls to get that done my husband just had his big 60th birthday so i gotta do that i have so many videos that don't have nothing to do with autism but have been special things in our life regular halls you name it um i'll have it once i get all that out of the way then I can start fresh, really dedicate myself to autism. Of course, I'm still going to put in things in between to keep, 
you know, all of our family blogging and lifestyle and things that me and my family are doing and sharing all of that with you. Of course, more hauls. Um, I'm going to do a video on making what I got my kids. My kids are adults, but of course my son is autistic. So he's a child at heart and mind. Um, and my granddaughter, and then the rest of my kids are adults. So I'll show you what I got them for Easter and how I make the gift baskets. I have videos of that before. If you want to go check out past years. So a lot of exciting things to come, but definitely autism because we want to focus on that. I wasn't able to do mental awareness month, which I have mental um, illness, not anything like bipolar or schizophrenic, um, which are very like tough things. Um, but you know, stress, depression, anxiety, um, have gone through really being in that dark hole and coming to a close call. I want to share, always share that experience with you. And of course, every occasion, holiday and causes that we support and, you know, do things for. So I'm going to end it there because I'm sure it's already at 45 minutes. It's probably 41 and 58 seconds. Please, I'm glad if you stuck to, with me to the end, I appreciate you so much. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you push that notification bell um, so you get heads up on every time I upload a video. Like I said, a lot of autism and a lot of many other exciting things to come, including Easter and a bunch of other stuff. So stick with me, subscribe. Don't forget to, to hit that notification bell because you know you want to get heads up. You don't want to miss out. So I appreciate you. And until my next video, take care.